Welcome to the Injurati studio. We're located at the Asian Utility Week in Bangkok. And with us today, we are privileged to have Mr. Babu Babel. And um, you're wearing two hats in this particular interview. You are the uh, chief executive of the energy sector um, with um, Sukia. Um, and then we're also going to talk to you about your involvement um, with AIMA. Um, and that's the Indian Electrical and Electronics Manufacturers Association. Um, let's start off with Sukia. Um, Give us a little bit of background um, with regards to the offerings there and um, what you offer. So, Secure is into complete energy metering, energy management, and comfort control uh, area. Uh, it's all about focus to the end consumer, uh, how an end consumer can get uh, benefited through yeah. right metering and right controls. And the basic metering came out of a utility in the UK, yeah, yeah. Uh, which we helped develop and commercialize. Uh, it was the world's first electronic meter ever to be produced in the late 70s. Uh, Secure then got licensed in uh, uh, India. The technology was licensed in France to a company called Sajan, licensed to Plessy in uh, South Africa. Uh, and uh, then we kept growing the technology around. Uh, the Indian company then invested back in what was called PRI then, uh, and the technology in UK was called CalNew, Credit and Load Management Unit. Uh, since then, uh, we developed application in prepayment metering, into smart meters. So the true smart meter in the world first happened in the UK in the late 70s. Right. It's been around for quite some time. Yes, it is. It is. What is your involvement um, with regards to the association, if you can just tell us? Um, uh, yeah. right. So. EMA is a very large organization with about over 800 uh, manufacturers involved in various electrical and electronic uh, equipment. 90 to 95 percent of electrical equipment which is uh, sold or bought in India is, is produced by one of our members. The collective turnover of our members is over 30 billion dollars. So it's a very effective uh, association. It takes up common causes of the industries with the government and with various bodies and, and now also with the end users. Right. Um, with, you know, in, in your industry, um, what is the main driver? What drives the need for meters? Well, traditionally, meter was only used for uh, billing purposes. Yeah. So you had the good old Ferrari's wheel meter, which the meter reader came and read once in a month or once in two months produce a bill which the customer generally contested yeah, yeah. saying it's not right and never saw the meter. It's now come to the front end because now there's more intelligence available in the, in the product. You can get more information uh, which can help the utilities uh, with a uh, lot of data as to how the system is performing. You can introduce things like time of use tariffs. You can do direct switching on or off and you can inform, uh, keep the customer engaged. And overall, then it can beca become part of the smart grid journey as the smart front end for, for right. a utility. Um, what what have the, the main challenges been um, with regards to you know deploying the meters, setting them up, um, and how have you overcome these? I don't know if you want to focus in on a specific area, perhaps. Uh, it depends on which uh, region or country you're talking about. Yes. Uh, uh, the big drivers have been right from energy cost reduction uh, to Asia, if you talk about it's mainly revenue completeness or revenue protection. The losses are very high, uh, uh, and dare I say the non-commercial losses. Yeah. Or, or the, or the, it's, it's, it's a euphemism for yeah. temper and fraud basically. Right. Uh, so that is a main driver in my opinion. Uh, also, people talk about benefit to the customer well, the customer really needs 24-7 electricity at low cost. Right. That's what the customer needs to see, because you never see electricity. You only see benefit of electricity, and in absence of electricity, you see the negativity. Exactly, exactly, and then you see the bulb. Yeah. <laughs> um, so 24-7 so electricity, and right. you can trust the bill. Yeah, yeah exactly, saying, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, with, with regards to utilities choosing the right meter you know, for them, because you obviously get different um, types of metering, um, yeah. 
what would your advice be to utilities when they look at choosing a, a, a meter? Well, a meter is, is a piece of technology, but who produces that technology is equally important. Yeah. So a true partnership with a vendor, it has to be long-term partnership, because an electronic meter is a device. The guy who designs and supplies and supports it needs to understand how utilities work, how an electrical system works, how electronic hardware works, how firmware works, how data protection works, data security works, reliability, electronic surges, and there's a gamut of things which, which has to be understood. Yeah. So the organization designing this needs to be reliable. And that's why it's very important to build that partnership with the meter vendor. Yeah, and just to have that trusting relationship that they're going to provide you with exactly what you Absolutely. need. Absolutely. And not give you something that won't really optimize your Correct. Um, operations. Yeah. Um, what is what is your intention um, here at Utility Week? What, what would you what would you like? What message would you like to be giving to the power sector? And and what would you uh, like to achieve here? So we've been operating in the region for, for many years, uh, over 15 years now. Uh, we have a very successful partnership in Malaysia. Right. We've recently supplied smart meters in uh, Singapore. Uh, we're also operating in uh, uh, places like Bangladesh, uh, in Myanmar, and we've been growing uh, in, in the area. Uh, so our message really would be, please look at your business drivers carefully because meter is a piece uh, of technology which will assist you with that. But unless the drivers are clearly defined, uh, you probably get the wrong solution. Uh, so a cost-effective solution can only come about if you know your drivers, you trial it uh, reasonably, and as I said, choose the right partners. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's um, very sound business. Thank you, uh, uh, business advice. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to come and talk to us. Thank and you for I having me. I hope the event proves to be successful for you. And um, thank you very much to our viewers for joining us. Um, there are other videos, some um, other interviews that you can have a look at. Do enjoy those too.